Hi, welcome back. Mrs. Mays here with another math and art project. Today we will be doing the flower of life. Leonardo da Vinci is known for incorporating the flower of life into many of his art projects. He's also known for studying the mathematics in the flower of life. You'll need a blank piece of paper and a compass with a pencil. The type of compass you use does not matter. This is a safety compass I use in my classroom. You'll probably just use a regular number two pencil. I've got a black artist pencil in here so that you can see it on the paper when I draw. It's important that you are consistent with the size. Um, so for example, I've got mine on a three right now. It doesn't matter what size, but it has to remain consistent for the whole piece. The smaller um, this is, the more flowers you'll get. So if you want a lot of flowers, make it small. If you want a few flowers, you make it big. There's different ways to hold this. I always taught my students to hold um, this type of compass like this and move the paper. When you're trying to spin it, you're not as accurate and you can make mistakes. And accuracy is important for this project. You will start with your compass in the middle of the paper. So we're gonna put the compass in the paper and make our first circle. I am going to outline this circle so we can see it a little better because it's important to know where the starting circle was and I'll show you why here in a minute. So there's our starting circle. I am now gonna place the point, not the pencil side, the other side on the circumference of that original circle. Doesn't matter where, anywhere, and make another circle. I'm now gonna put the point wherever a circle intersects the original one. So right here's an intersection. I make another circle. Here's an intersection and I make another circle. Intersection, circle. Intersection, circle. One more to do, intersection and circle. So this is one iteration and you can see that I have these petals here that make up my first flower. You can color in these petals, or you can color the spaces between the petals instead. That kind of looks neat too. Another cool thing with the Flowers of Life, and I've got it on another piece, you can create two equilateral triangles by connecting the points. And then the two triangles create the Star of David. All right, so that's our first iteration. We now take our compass, making sure that it hasn't moved. That's really important. And we're gonna go out here to where all of these connect. So anytime circumferences of a circle connect, you put your compass and you make another circle. It's helpful to be consistent and kind of go around in the same order so that you don't miss any. And you'll just keep doing this, filling up the paper and creating lots of beautiful, Flowers of Life. It's fun to decide what kind of colors to create. Have fun with math.